and I would really recommend you to watch your moon and rising sign as well to have a better clarity on what it is you need to know. If you wish to have a personal reading, my email is on the description box below and I'll be very happy to, to assist if you need any guidance. Um, what else? I don't know if I've said it, but I'll say it again. Please watch your moon and rising sign <laughs> and take on what resonates with you and leave what does not. As you know, we're reading for thousands and thousands of Cancerians around the world, and this may not apply to everybody. Okay, so for those who knows how I read, I do not read the card in a very traditional way. I, um, the card to me are just supports, of course, with some information, but I'm very guided with my uh, spiritual guides and angels, and I'll be having messages for you along the way. So please bear with me if there is um, some silence sometimes, because I'm just concentrating with the messages that I'm receiving. So it can be slow sometimes, but it is for, um, for your best interest <laughs> okay for the overall energy you have the page of Pentacles so it's definitely um, a brand new offer you're having or something that has taken on when it comes to work or a brand new offer at work or a brand new offer that you have to put efforts uh, to make it work This offer could be as well an offer of uh, a relationship or getting to know somebody. But as I feel, it's some, something that is, um, okay. So it's something that is starting slow, a slow movement. Something I feel like it took a long time or you felt you've been stagnant in, in a situation or in a relationship where you couldn't make a decision to you know to either leave or go or either detach emotionally even if you have left or you you felt like you've been left out in the cold it took a long time for you to move on or you're in the process of moving on but it's a slow process for those of you who already did move on i feel like you've taken all the strength and the energy to work on yourself to you know really really let go and heal yourself. Let go of the old. As we said in the previous video, let go of the old because there is a brand new person at your doorstep. So I feel like this energy is also taking on maybe the beginning of the month of uh, November, but most of you had worked on themselves already to detach energetically and welcome the new because there is somebody new coming your way, definitely it's um what i feel here with some of you okay i'm just getting mixed information so i'm just i will try to break it down for you with some of you you have met different people in the month of october or you had different offers but yet you are not taking action on that or perhaps you're gonna have an offer and you still don't want, don't know if you want to um, take action on that. You're still indecisive. Why? Because you don't know if maybe you have different options and you don't know which one is best for you, or you don't know if you want to again invest yourself because you're very fearful of getting hurt. But this offer that is coming to you i feel like it's something different from everything you have had in the past it's not something volatile something stable and and really um founded and it's for your best interest it's something coming to take you into the next level high in a higher level in so many ways um to better your environment to better your uh yourself and self-confidence and and although you know with the experience you just had oh my god the lessons you've got are worth millions because it was necessary to have this relationship or this situation in your life 
for you to be able to 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 gain this wisdom yeah this wisdom i feel most of you is to learn how to love without attachment and for some of you is to learn how to or for some of you is actually to know that such relationships or such feeling existed because maybe the situation or the person you were with um, perhaps like um, ignited something you never you never knew about or you didn't even know that it existed in the past even yeah and it feels like it had a lot to do with air sign air is very I feel like you know the energy is very uh, airy although you had a lot of emotions and like but I feel like the, the this happened with an air sign and now even if this person comes back to you you would definitely say no that's it I've had my lessons and thank you for the experience thank you for the lessons and I'm done although it did hurt in the past Although it, you know, really you'd like you to, you, you, you just lay down your swords. Okay. You lost something, but the wisdom and the learning you've got from it. Oh my God. That's so beautiful. You can actually, at some point when your healing is done, you can actually just go and say thank you to this person. Such a beautiful card. There is definitely new beginnings coming towards you. You, for some of you, you really did work on healing yourself. I feel like there is a brand new commitment coming to you in the month of November. Please do not stay. Uh, don't look at what happened in the past and don't bring on this energy into anything new. Follow your intuition. You Cancerians are very in tune with your with yourself when you want to. <laughs> I'm Cancerian too. I, th I think I've, I've said it. And sometimes I'm just very stubborn into not trusting myself, although I know what's good for me. But definitely you will have offers and you will, one of them will be actually uh, standing out. And you would have to follow your intuition on that because, yeah, you have to believe in yourself. And this person, a man or a woman, will show you life differently, very stable, material, um, in the material world. I'm not talking about financial. This person is very stable when it comes to what they want, emotions, stability, like very, very in tuned with, with their, um, their, um, oh, I'm, lost, I'm losing my words, with themselves, basically. If you are really working on yourself and you're getting into this really self-fulfilling uh, feeling you can have for yourself, you are meeting somebody just exactly just like you, and you two together can make the world a better place because you are going to take both of two complete energies and make it like one full uh, one a, a big ball of like just joy and happiness and stability and you know just knowing what you want to do and and it's a commitment i don't see it as a fling you have to let go of the past and stop crying over this spilled milk situation and although you as i said you know exactly how it feels to no not how it feels you know exactly what it was for you to learn and uh, maybe you're telling yourself but i will never find the same excitement or i will never find the same um connection but now your mind has stretched it cannot go back to its old ways because whatever you're going to find now, from now on, is something even better, equal or even better. So please just trust yourself. Definitely. And it's going to happen fast. I mean, this is your card, Cancer. This is the lovers. So I said, as I said, I think you're going to have to make a choice between two people. I feel like several people are in the picture. But two people you are considering perhaps and one of them is the one for you i feel like the more mature one is the best option for you there are many uh, signs here that are showing up gemini libra aquarius um, yeah gemini as well aquarius is very prominent you have earth signs so i really rather not 
um, you know, concentrate on, on, on signs because it can be their rising moon or sun sign. There is Aries as well uh, and Taurus. So you have a lot of earth, air. Yeah, less fire energy, but earth, air and uh, cups as well. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Bravo, you've done a great, great job on yourself and keep on working on yourself because this is exactly what is happening. You're hiring your vibrations into, you know, something beautiful to be able to meet the right person for you. Wow. I'm getting excited too. <laughs> okay, so now I want you to think of a specific person, um, your partner or potential partner or somebody you just um, you know thinking of and we're gonna do um, a love spread I'm using the romance angel cards of Dorian Virtue and I'm gonna clarify them with the witch's tarot So the overall energy here I have is free yourself. Free yourself from whatever situation you had in the past. This could have either, uh, this situation could either apply to a marriage, a wedding that you have had, or a committed relationship. It's a situation where you felt you're gonna be, you know, either you felt this, situ this situation either could last forever because of the connection you had there's something or you felt that this marriage was unbreakable but no you took on your you took on your sword and you're definitely leaving this situation from this is how you feel how they feel there is some either beliefs or religious factors or um something between the way you live or the way they live that is different and could have influenced whatever happened um, I feel like there was a lack of patience like a lack of temperance and understanding and making to one thing to make a compromise from both sides okay and definitely it's the potential here Definitely, there is some family issues that this person or you need to heal because they are either still stuck in the past with what they have and they can't trust anymore anybody, so they won't, don't want to make any efforts anymore, which is, uh, you know, very wrong because they take on the energy of the past into their relationship today, which is, uh, you know, totally wrong. And, um, yeah, I strongly feel like there is definitely some family issues that did not help in your favor with this relationship, whatever it is. Mm, family or could, could also be some addiction. Like, I feel like it could be some addiction in, to something that didn't help. Anyways, a sort of toxicity, no matter what it is. So it's just the potential is not there because there is a lot, a lot of work to do for them or for you in order to just bring this relationship into balance because it's totally out of balance and it can't lead anywhere, honestly. What it says here, release your ex as an advice. You have to release your ex in order to find love again you have to clear this energy because it's like draining you draining you because as soon as you leave there is a new beginning a new judgment coming for you new beginning and it's uh, oh my god okay so for those of you who were in a relationship or 
for those of you who actually did work on them on themselves you will feel you will feel actually inside of you that there is you know a new uh feeling of like abundance hiring your vibration wanting to do things differently wanting to appreciate life with yourself really and love yourself and nurture yourself because everything comes from within if you love yourself enough you're going to vibrate higher and you're going to attract the right people for you that can only love you the way you love yourself so it is reflection of whatever you are feeling for yourself so please just concentrate on you right now because this person is here definitely there is look if, if those of you if you're asking about an ex just forget about it it's not going anywhere even you might have a heart to heart conversation but this will not go anywhere there is a brand new person coming into your life you feel like you've waited enough and but there is a brand new coming, brand new person coming into your life. As soon as you will feel like you've cl cleared your energies, as soon as you will remove this blindfold from your eyes, you will see. It's going to knock on your door. <laughs> or you on their door. We never know. But definitely something new coming for you and something very beautiful and prosperous. I hope this resonated with you. We're gonna now do some, la yeah, let me pull a few cards from the Osho Tarot cards. Can you show me what is the energy for Cancer? The love energy of Cancer. Okay, one more. I want to show you this card it feels like to me you were actually showing or maybe it's the person who was with you had a false mask or you were actually showing uh, a different side of you because you didn't want to reveal you know how you felt but to me the person you were with was actually a player, a cheater. Um, what else? I feel deception because you went with your heart and you felt like, you know, you've given it your all and it didn't work. You've been fooled. Okay. You've been really fooled and you thought it was a soulmate. You really felt like it was a soulmate but now by leaving it it's a total success because of the new beginning oh wow new beginnings again leaving the old i hope you can see the cards when i lay them down leaving the old and starting brand new something is coming your way so please take on Take on the offer or the person that is coming your way. Yeah? I really advise you to do so. Could be a fire sign as well. Okay, we're going to pull a few cards to see what it is you need to heal. It seems like to me the month of October has... Uh, you know perhaps opened your eyes on many level and you started the inner work you had to do on yourself and maybe this is dragging a little bit on the beginning of November but by the end of November I am sure that you will be seeing changes in your love life now all I want to ask you because I keep on having sometimes some messages um, I want you to check the videos as well by the end of the month because that time you would see a lot of things has you know um, making sense are making more sense to you rather than the beginning of the month 
So as you know, tarot is guidance and it can only guide you for what it is you need to know. If there is something you're not supposed to know, the angels and spirits are not going to reveal anything, only when it's divine timing for you. Uh, then you, you're supposed to know whatever is meant uh, to, to be known for you. Okay. I feel like you've been really supported by, by friends lately. Although you needed time for yourself and you took maybe this time for yourself, but you are really supported by friends and you're celebrating going out. The month of October maybe was intense for you, but also in the month of November, things are, are gonna, you know, fall into place. There is definitely a celebration you need to go to because it can offer blessings to you. So I don't know, you might meet somebody in a certain celebration for some of you for some of you uh, it feels like it's thanksgiving yeah it's thanksgiving as well so definitely there is a friends and celebration but it's really beneficial for you there is something that's going to come out positive something positive that is going to come out of this so please do not neglect it you have to celebrate Celebrate your life first. Celebrate your existence. You are guarded, you are guided, you are blessed. And the angels are going to help you release and surrender whatever is has burden on you. Your friends as well. Just talk to them because they are here for you. They will really help you into taking off this uh, you know, weight over your shoulders. And... Um, Is there any other messages that I have for my cancers? Okay, so I just hear the best is yet to come. The best is yet to come. So please trust it. The best is yet to come. November. November has good surprises. So please be open. Work on yourself before uh, getting into the month. Because I feel like by the middle of the month, you're going to be meeting somebody new. Yeah. And it perhaps going to materialize by the end of the month. Now, please pause this video. Think about a specific question. And when you're ready, you play back the video. And I'm going to be shuffling the cards. And this card will answer your question if it does not resonate with you once again then it's okay okay whenever you're ready play back the video okay so i'm going to show you the bottom of the deck perfect timing and the answer is within the next few months. So whatever you asked for, know that it is the perfect timing to either perhaps leave, start new or whatever. And this will materialize into something serious and a commitment within the next few months. <laughs> 